Trajan Langdon is adding snipers to this Pistons roster, man. So according to Shams, the Pistons and Malik Beasley have agreed on a one-year, six million plus dollar deal. Beasley most recently played with the Milwaukee Bucks last season, where he shot the second best percentage from three in his eight-year NBA career at 41.3%. His career best was in the 2019-2020 season where he shot 42.6% with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And his career average tested about 38.5% which instantly makes him one of the best shooters on his team. His worst shooting season was his rookie season where he shot about 32% but after that he only shot under 35% once so he's a very reliable shooter. Malik stands at about 6'4", 187 pounds and he's 27 years old so he's right in the prime of his career. This makes things interesting for the Pistons and gives them even more options. It's clear that the Pistons' priority this offseason was adding shooting, as it should have been. The Pistons were one of the worst three-point shooting teams last season, and they've addressed that by adding Tobias Harris, Tim Hardaway, and now Malik Beasley, who are all capable three-point shooters. So what does this mean for the Pistons' cap space? It hasn't been determined if the Pistons will decide to use their $25 million roughly in cap space or the $8 million mid-level exception that they have. If they use the mid-level exception, They'll have about one or two million remaining from that after signing Beasley. And they still have their 25 or so million available to make a move for a potential starting power forward. Or they could split it and look to add maybe a backup big man and maybe a backup point guard. Perhaps somebody like Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones made about $14 million last season with the Washington Wizards. And he's somebody who I would actually love to have on this team. Especially if we can get him around 10 to 15 million a year. I wonder if the Pistons though, who haven't yet signed Beasley, are waiting to see if they can use that 25 or so million of their cap entirely on one more big fish to bring in as a starting power forward. I think that could be why they haven't disclosed the details of Beasley's deal yet, because they might be trying to see who they could possibly land with that cap space, which is separate from the $8 million mid-level exception that they have. So they have options. So now, will Malik Beasley start? My initial thought is no. I still believe the Pistons are going to roll with Kay Cunningham and Jaden Ivey to start the regular season. But this move does signal to me that the Pistons are creating competition at that two guard spot, which I love to see. So we got to wait and see. But either way, I love what the Pistons are doing. I know Kay Cunningham is probably grinning from ear to ear because it's been well documented how the lack of shooting around him has put a cap on how effective he can really be. So it's really encouraging to see Trajan Langdon doing right by a star player and surrounding him with players whose skill set fits his. More evidence of that is the Pistons trying to potentially bring in Buddy Heal to Detroit, another sharp shooter. And even though he went to Golden State, it's clear what the agenda is for Trajan Langdon. Question for you, do you think this signing affects the starting lineup in any way? What does this mean for Tim Hardaway Jr., who was just traded to the Pistons a few weeks ago, and who many thought would start alongside Kay Cunningham? Also, how do you think the Pistons should use their remaining cap space? Should they use their $25 million roughly in cap to sign Beasley? Or should they use the mid-level exception and then use their cap separately to bring in a starting power forward or maybe bring in a backup power forward and a backup point guard? Let me know. And as always, Detroit versus everybody. Peace. Breaking records, set by Michael J. Bringing glory days back to the future, Michael J. He's way ahead of his time, he's got a plan, yeah. Set off by none other than his brother Cannon. If yeah, this is more than a game, it's a passion. Why they sleep, we working? Cause I'm a passion.